it on anything you want. If we're gonna go out there, we're gonna go out there comfortable. Hey everyone, I'm Rebecca and welcome to Ms. Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best Sister Act franchise moments. By the power invested in me, I pronounce us ready to eat. Oh. No, sir, let's talk about your mama, who's so dumb she got hit by a parked car. <laughs> Thank you. For this list, we're looking at the best scenes from this musical comedy film franchise. If you haven't seen these joyful movies yet, this is your spoiler alert. So what's your favorite song from the Sister Act franchise? Be sure to let us know in the comments. All right, let's get into it. Number 10, Three Nuns Walk Into a Bar, Sister Act. After seeing her boyfriend commit a crime, a singer named Dolores is forced to go undercover as a nun so that he can't get to her. But since she spent most of her days living it up in Reno, Nevada, adjusting to life in a convent isn't exactly easy for her. But I'm going insane here. All these people do is work and pray. Work and pray, that's all they do. Dolores decides to blow off some steam by sneaking out to a bar at night. It's a ton of fun watching her insult and scold tough guys while dressed in a nun's habit. What well, dance is Why, you don't have any rhythm. The scene gets even more enjoyable when two fellow nuns join her in the seedy establishment. Although the sisters leave after one dance, neither the patrons nor the audience will ever forget this night at the bar. This turns into a nun's bar, I'm out of here. <laughs> Number 9, Meeting the Music Class, Sister Act 2, Back in the Habit. In this sequel, the Reverend Mother of St. Francis Academy asks Dolores to become a music teacher at a struggling school. A teacher? Me? Oh. <laughs> Although the singer agrees to give it a shot, she quickly regrets her decision. Dolores is given an unruly class of students that has zero desire to do any work. She has to scratch her nails across the chalkboard and throw out admittedly funny insults just to keep her quirky class in check. No, sir, let's talk about your mama, who's so dumb she got hit by a parked car. <laughs> Despite her best efforts, her classroom ends up descending into chaos before the period is over. This brief exchange is an entertaining way to show Dolores her new teaching gig won't be a walk in the park. Number 8. A Unique Grace – Sister Act Decades after Dolores attended Catholic school as a young girl, she seems to have become very out of touch with religious traditions. While you are here, you will conduct yourself as a nun. Only I will know who and what you truly are. You will draw no attention to yourself whatsoever. This is made hilariously clear at her first lunch in the convent. Dolores is asked to bless the food before the sisters eat. Her resulting grace is a mix of traditional prayer, random Bible verses, wedding vows, and even the Pledge of Allegiance. We want you to give us this day our daily bread and to the republic for which it stands. And by the power invested in me, I pronounce us ready to eat. Although all the other sisters look a little confused, they graciously accept the odd blessing. This funny scene foretells how bad Dolores would be at blending in. At least she's good at making us laugh. Number 7. Dolores Gives Rita a Pep Talk – Sister Act 2 – Back in the Habit Rita initially comes off as a student who couldn't care less about music. She butts heads with Dolores right away and abandons the rest of her singing classmates early in the film. A little lonely out on that limb by yourself, Miss Watson? But underneath her tough exterior, she has a deep love for music. Dolores tries to reach her standoffish student by giving her a copy of Letters from a Young Poet and an awesome pep talk. The experienced singer lets Rita know that she should embrace and pursue her passions, and their conversation is hugely inspiring to watch, especially to those who work in the arts. If you wake up in the morning and you can't think of anything but singing first, then you're supposed to be a singer, girl. And their talk has the added bonus of bringing Rita back into music class. La, 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 la. Welcome back. Hey. Number six, a brand new choir, Sister Act. It's not just quacking. This is, this is rejoicing. You are singing to the Lord. When Dolores first arrived at St. Catherine's, the choir was in pretty rough shape. So she's pretty unhappy when the Reverend Mother forces her to join the group. Singing. You will join the choir. But Dolores decides to put her full effort into turning the choir into a wholly new and exciting singing group. Their big debut takes place during Sunday Mass. After singing traditional hymns, the sisters segue into a fun reimagining of Hail Holy Queen. Hail Holy Queen and above, oh Maria. 
their performance is so spirited and exciting that random people off the street come into the church just to check it out. Although the Reverend Mother isn't too thrilled about the song, everyone else who watches this infectious number can't help but praise it. That music, that heavenly music, Reverend Mother, it called to them. Number 5. Performing for the Pope – Sister Act This is not a theatre or a casino! It doesn't take long for the new choir to explode in popularity. After packing the pews on Sundays, the Pope decides to visit, just to hear them in person. The sisters blow him away with a glorious up-tempo version of I Will Follow Him. Follow him wherever he may go. During the toe-tapping number, Dolores and Mary Robert both get to show off their strong vocal talents. By the end of the performance, the Pope himself is giving them a standing ovation. The I Will Follow Him number was a great way to wrap up the movie. It was one last reminder that blending old traditions with new ideas can result in some really sweet music. Number 4. Nuns to the Rescue – Sister Act Despite everyone's best efforts, Dolores is kidnapped by two of her ex-boyfriend's goons. It's okay, I'm a cop! They've got Sister Mary Clarence and they've got guns! Where are they taking them? They said the Moonlight Lounge! Come on, get out of the street! Okay. Once the sisters hear that she's been taken to Nevada, they rush to save her. And if you cannot, we know that you will have done your level best. What goes around comes around! Sisters, sisters. <laughs> After hilariously guilting a pilot into giving them a lift, they arrive in Reno just in time to help Dolores, who's still dressed in a nun's habit. <laughs> The sisters confuse the gangsters by spreading out across the casino and making it impossible to find Dolores among them. Their brilliant stalling tactics ensure this comedy has a happy ending. But the most heartwarming thing about the nun scramble is that it shows the sisters really see Dolores as one of their own. She is Sister Mary Clarence of St. Catherine's Convent. She's a model of generosity, virtue, and love. You have my word for it, gentlemen, she is a nun. Number 3. An All-Star Encore Sister Act 2 – Back in the Habit Before Sister Act 2 faded to black, the cast had one last surprise for us – a performance of Ain't No Mountain High Enough. Now if you need me, call me, no matter where you are. This post credit scene is so much more than a simple gag. The song brings in our favorite characters from both films singing on the same track. We also get to hear amazing solos from Rita, Tanya, and of course Dolores. performs this huge number on a simple white set that allows them to dance and play around as much as they want. All of the actors look like they're having an absolute ball while recording the song. We couldn't have asked for a better scene to close out the sequel. Number 2. The All-State Choir Championship Performance – Sister Act 2 – Back in the Habit joyful, joyful love, we adore God of glory, Lord of Transforming the music class into a great choir wasn't enough to keep St. Francis Academy from closing. But when Dolores hears there's a big All-State Singing Championship coming up, she figures that a win could save the school. She puts all her faith into a fun arrangement of Joyful, Joyful. Joyful, joyful Lord, we adore thee. After Rita leads us in with a powerful and soulful verse, the rest of the class takes the stage in the most 90s outfits ever to blow us away with their remix. And I'm down with the kids, so now what the method? Did you tell me who you're down with? See, cause all I know is that I'm down with T.O.D. By adding rap, R&B and sweet choreography to a traditional hymn, the students win the competition and save the school. I've been singing Joyful Joyful for days now. It is so catchy. I love Sister Act 2. But do you think our number one pick is from the sequel or from the original? We have some honorable mentions to get through and then we will pick our top Sister Act moment. A mall hits a high note. Sister Act 2 back in the habit. Dolores is a star. 
Sister Act 2, back in the habit. I am not now, nor have I ever been, a Las Vegas showgirl. I am a headliner. Oh. <laughs> Dolores channels James Brown. Sister Act 2, back in the habit. I said get up off that thing. Messing with Sister Mary Robert, Sister Act. The Pope, tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I'll be so nervous. What if I forget the words? You're gonna go straight to hell. Nuns perform Ball of Confusion. Sister Act 2, Back in the Habit. Well, the only person talking about love, my brother, is, is a preacher. And it seems nobody's interested in learning but the teacher. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Dolores Delivers – Sister Act The moment where Dolores pretends to pray just so she can hit two goons below the belt is genius. Amen. Amen. <laughs> But her most brilliant moment comes after her ex Vince gets arrested. By this point, he had kidnapped her, threatened her life, and insulted her singing talents. I'm sorry for all my sins, Vince. And I'm sorry for yours. So we understand why she had a few choice words for him. Instead of cursing him out in front of the nuns in the room, she decides to hit him with a more PG phrase. I've got two words for you, Vince. Mary Clarence. Bless you. Whoopi Goldberg's perfect line delivery makes the line sound like a brutal insult. Seeing her deliver a vicious verbal smackdown to her ex that gets her anger out and respects her fellow sister's values never gets old. So what do you think? Do you like to see Dolores kick butt or do you prefer the music? Be sure to let us know your favorite moment in the Sister Act franchise in the comments or come tell me on Twitter or Instagram at Rebecca Brayton or on my YouTube channel. See ya.